me. So today we're going to discuss my most recent purchase of a Bitcoin miner doing SHA-256 proof of work, earning Bitcoins and stacking sats every single day. And the latest model that I purchased is an S19. Not an S19A, not an S19J, not an S19J Pro. Those are different models, folks. My most recent purchase was just an S19. Bread and butter, meat and potatoes, let me tell you about it. So I was scrolling the uh, Compass Mining uh, Marketplace, as I do, looking for, looking for deals. Um, and I noticed that there was an S19 listed for $900. And my mouth started watering. I pulled out my wallet and decided to make the purchase. So why did I, why did I go with that one in particular? Um, it's a good question because I wasn't really looking uh, for a miner um, in particular, but it grabbed my eye because it was a little bit, a little bit below uh, market rates from uh, what I could tell. Today, the price for this model currently sits at um, just over a thousand. So the same 95 terahash model is at 1095 today. Um, not enough to where I could relist the model and and possibly sell it for a profit. It's not it's not there yet. Um, so I'm just hashing away to my pool. And right now, the hosting rate for this miner is 187 dollars. 32 cents and so divide that by 30.4 sweetheart you might want to zoom in here a little bit so 187.32 divided by 30.4 gives you 616 that's six dollars 16 cents per day now this thing is running 95 terahash and Let's check on the hash price. What do you say? So let's go over to brains. And currently the hash price is 7.7 .7 cents per terahash. So again, simple math, folks. If the hosting rate is 616 and if the hash price is 7.7, .7, multiply that by 95. Um, I'm making over a dollar a day in profit if I'm looking at this in dollar terms. Um, and that's with the most recent difficulty adjustment downward, where for the fourth time this year, we've actually had a negative difficulty adjustment just a few days ago, which helped us miners out a bit. It was, uh, it was a negative adjustment of 3.26, making it a little bit easier for us miners doing the proof of work to earn the Bitcoin. So that was helpful. Um, it became about 3% uh, easier to, to earn those sats. Um, it increases profitability a bit. And so if my hosting rate is 6.16 or thereabouts, um, and if I'm earning $7.32 a day, do the math. It's a little bit over a dollar a day. Um, you do have to factor in for some downtime. So I like to multiply that number by 28 to factor in for um, for some downtime. Uh, and so if I'm paying $187 and change for hosting, and if my miner's bringing in 204, then um, there is a, uh, a, a small margin of profitability at current levels. But let me speak on why I'm interested in increasing my hash portfolio my hash folio if you will i like that um well because i'm bullish the um the hash price and i'm also extremely bullish the hash value so the underlying satoshis that i'm earning i'm not selling those every day um just to support my my opex or my operational expenses i'm using my hash folio or my miners as a way to take my fiat and dollar cost average every single day into increasing my my Bitcoin um, effectively at a discount if I'm able to arbitrage 
the hosting rate um, and, and get more sats per dollar spending through my electricity bill, if you will, than I would just going out to the market and buying the underlying asset, which is Bitcoin at spot price. So um, there's a quick brief uh, breakdown on why I decided to purchase the S19 95 terahash. I uh, hope you got something from it and leave a comment below if you have any questions uh, or comments. Give me a thumbs up if you're into this kind of material. Give me a thumbs down if you're not. I appreciate your time. I'll see you next time.